Hi everyone, welcome to my latest DVD review. This is um, the Cocker Ranger DVD box set. Actually, before I do this, there's one thing I missed on my previous review when I showed you guys the different uh, sound effects of the chargers. Um, I didn't show you guys the two morphers combined, like what it could do. So let me quickly get that out of the way. So I have the red, um, Morpher. I can't remember what these morphers are called. And this is the regular morpher. As you can see, it doesn't have a groove at the um, bottom here. It doesn't have a groove here. And there are two holes up here. That's where it connects at the bottom of this and the top here. So what you do is you align the gun. And you want to make sure that um, the gun, this one here is open. You align the gun like so. Now you know that it's aligned properly is that the two orange um, circular knobs here, they align with the um, grooves on the red gun. And that's what it looks like when you attach them. And let me show you the sound effects. That's basically it, and it really doesn't have any, there's no other new sound effects on the, on the red gun. Pretty much the same. It has no effect either on the um, charger, so let me actually put it in and show you guys. Yeah, so basically the same uh, sound effects. You just get one additional new sound effect on the yellow morpher here. And if you were to remove it, there's a button on the bottom here, and also on the other side there's a button, same button, you squeeze both of them at the same time. And you remove it like so. It makes that same sound. That's pretty much it. And, uh, I forgot to give you guys my feedback on the red morpher. I'm actually impressed with both of them, really. They really went above and beyond to give us unique sound effects and phrases for each of the different dino charges. It's pretty impressive. So, um, let's get started here. This is the Cocker Ranger DVD box set. Something I've noticed with the Sentai DVD sets are that um, it has a very Sentai feel to it. Like they don't try to add, uh, like the toys, they don't try to add too much CGI or too much animated stuff. It's very simple. It's like how usually Sentai, Sentai cowers are. So we have um, in big here, Super Sentai. And then small here, I believe, I don't know if that says Cock Ranger, but I, be, uh, I have a strong belief that it most likely does right there. And it says at the bottom here, let me bring it up closer. Um, Ninja Sentai Cock Ranger, the complete season. And at the bottom there, you have four little screen grabs. And on the top here, it says, I don't know if you guys can see, before Power Rangers, there was. Um... Honestly, though, um, oops, let me just move this back so you guys can see properly. Honestly, like, I'm not a fan of the, let me see, there we go. I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of the huge, uh, Super Sentai title being right there in your face. Because at the end of the day, Super Sentai is the name of the entire show, not just the one season. Instead, they should have just had, um... Kaku Ranger and maybe Super Sentai in short in small letters because it's about Kaku Ranger, not the individual season, not all of Super Sentai. But that's just like a minor little grab here. And I love the 
five ranges paired together. It, it looks really nice. It's very uh, simplistic. And I apologize for that noise. Like, I don't know what it is for the past few nights. You have these, like, crazy bikers that always, like, ride their bikes late into the night and it causes so much noise. But anyways, let's continue. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I really love um, the picture on the front here. They didn't try to animate, they didn't try to like go crazy with the picture. It's just simple, showing all five Power Rangers. That's all you really need, the like, simplistic designs. And on the back here, you have all five of their mecha. And um, <laughs> let me see, let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Um, let me just raise it so you guys can see there. Yeah, so it says, see the Japanese phenomenon Be began with the original Japanese series that inspired the Power Rangers franchise. Oops, I'm not shifting my camera. You know what, I'm just going to move this to the back so that way you got it. So my camera is going sideways there. Let me see. There we go. I think. There we are. Yeah, sorry about that. I was having a little bit of technical difficulties. So let's continue here. So it says there, it's been a long time since the Great War between the Red... Wow, where did Red come from? Between the three God Generals and the Yokais, an ancient race of monstrous spirits. Since then, imprisoned in a cave protected by the mystical sealed door, their leader Daimo and his yokai army wait, planning for the day they can finally strike. The day has arrived, and it's up to the Kaku Rangers, along with the three god generals, to defeat the yokais before Daimo's villainry destroys Earth. I'm pretty sure I destroyed a lot of those names there, I do apologize. Um, at the bottom there, we have like three screen grabs. Let me see if we can get a better close up. This is of the Kaku Rangers in suit, and then the second is off suit. Third is of their um, mecha uh, performing the final move. So let's get inside the DVD set. So um, over here we have more pictures, more scenes that we have all. Six Kaku Rangers or all five Kaku Rangers. So random pictures. Behind this one here, you have a synopsis of which this which episodes come in which discs from one to six. So each disc again like Die Ranger. Let me just quickly double check to make sure I'm correct. Okay, well no. Uh, Die Ranger each disc had actually five um Five episodes, this one it varies. This five and this three and this one have six episodes each, two, four, and six have five episodes each. So unlike uh, Die Ranger, each disc here has all the Kaku Rangers in here. If you remember from my Die Ranger review, each disc was dedicated to a Ranger, but this one has all, all five. The disc ones, they pretty much look all the same. This one, so this is disc three. This is disc four. Disc five, disc six. You guys pretty much get the picture here. There's not too much difference. And uh, yeah, so it shows here disc seven, eight, and nine. So, 7, 8, and 9 also come with like 5 episodes each. That's basically it. And um, I actually like the design overall. I'm not a huge fan of the big DVD set. Mainly because all the DVDs are exposed and are together. And it leaves more of a chance of something happening to them. But other than that, they... Did an awesome job, and for what forty dollars, they did a decent job. Like I know if they gave them each disc individual sleeves and all that stuff, it would have to put the cost up a lot more. 
I still have yet to see Copper Ranger. I only saw like the first five episodes. I'm honestly not feeling it, especially because of that running gag they have that older Japanese guy who always narrates. It's kind of a mood killer for me, but I do plan on finishing it, of course. But I just need to pick it up again because I halted my Copper Ranger marathon for Family Matters, and now um, I got up to season six for Family Matters, and I have some waiting for season seven to come in, and then I can continue it. So that's basically it. And if you guys want this set, I'm from Canada, so the prices are going to be quoted a lot higher. I got it for thirty nine ninety nine. I can I believe it. Got it a long time ago, but I believe the U S. You can get it a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper. So. And online, you can always check Amazon. Amazon has like, the random sale that goes on. So always keep checking. And I'm pretty sure you can get it for a good deal. As for my plan for these Sentai DVD sets, I do plan on getting all, all of them as they come along. It's a great way for me to check out the other Sentais that I missed out on. I'm just... For me, it's perfect because I'm too lazy to, to download all the episodes and do that. I just can't. I have to know ahead of time that I'm investing all that time for a good season. I don't want to take the risk and end up the season's going to be a flop. But that's just me. Anyways, thanks for watching as always. And if you got, if you are a Canadian fan that's watching this, just want to let you know. The yellow <coughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Movie Ranger has started showing up in Walmart. I know, like... That was the last movie ranger that had yet to appear in Walmart. And even Toys R Us, very seldom Toys R Us carried it. So go to Walmart if you guys need the yellow ranger and that's the last piece of your puzzle. Again, this is for Canadian fans. I don't know how the U.S. works. The yellow ranger is finally at uh, Walmart. And go now, grab it when you see it because that's the only ranger. There's only one. All the others have multiples out there. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.